All right, guys, welcome back to part number nine, I think it is, of our Evil Land playthrough as we're going to get uh, absolutely wrecked here. We are currently in the forest, having found um, Fina's ancestor and got her tear that allowed us to progress into like this hidden area in the forest. And um, yeah, when we left off on Friday night, we was kind of a little bit of a weird spot really we couldn't really I, I didn't really get what i was meant to be doing here if i'm complete if i'm absolutely honest um seems like we've got to like go down this bit here and avoid the path of this thing whatever it is now oh okay i may see what i need to do here okay so the point was, I thought like this, this was like indicating like some wind or something and I couldn't like cross the beams, but clearly I can, but literally, I think I've just worked out what I need to do. And it seems like in front of this guy here in particular, I'm not able to walk in the light in front of it. I've got to stay in the shadows somehow. So the question is then, how do we get through into this bit here? Because we can't use uh, Fina's ability there to get through there. So I wonder if we can um, change our time again. Remember how we did that before. We can change back to the, um, the other time line or the other time frame. Maybe we can... Um, Maybe we can, um, some of the things won't have grown up so much and we'll be able to sneak past some bits and pieces. We've definitely been here with the, um, in the other timeline, which is a little bit weird. I can't remember how, there we go, we'll go back now. So yeah, now let's see if we can now stay in the shadows from this guy if things haven't grown up as much in this timeline as they had previously. Should, can we walk through here? Uh, we can't, no. Obviously, literally if we just like come out there and into the daylight with that guy, he just roasts us, so. I'm not entirely sure there's like a way that we can like freeze him or anything. his eyes out. Alright, eh, Doctorus? Apples and pears, apples and pears. Get off your dog and bone. <laughs> Amiga, what's going on, buddy? Hope you're well. Welcome along. You're all back in the apartment, buddy. You're all settled in. There's got to be a way through here, and I'm not, I'm not seeing the way through. Unless there's a sneaky hidden path, like over here somewhere. There was sections like this in the uh, original, wasn't there? I think the original. There was like some sneaky paths, but... <laughs> Go get bit by a moxie, you wanker. <laughs> Oh. Oh. All right, so if I did that, what if I go back now? Is that log been pushed into the river still? Log's no longer there. Now I wonder if it resets if I go back now. 
So that sort of implies to me maybe that we need to push it somewhere else, but no, it's not reset. Looks like a bit of a big boy up there, doesn't it? Right, big boy. I don't see the point of like pushing this into here if I can't, if there's nowhere else for me to move about here. So I can like freeze the water, maybe? Oh, didn't freeze the water, but that did break the tree. That's interesting. Alright, maybe I need to like leave and come back. I can't leave in this timeline, though. I just kind of feel like I've. <laughs> I should have moved this somewhere else, maybe like up here or something. If that's possible. There's definitely nowhere else I can like go over here though. So to go back, I would need to... Change the times again. So if we go through here, um, I'm just wondering if this like resets the positions of it as well. See this river right here. All right, Megis, how's it going, buddy? River right here is a bit of a pain in the ass, if you ask me. Just impulse eighty-three and swim past the whole section. Damn, um, this this guy, this guy, are smart. Why don't we think about the old airboat? So doing this breaks the tree. Problem is, now this is here, there's like nowhere else I can... Hmm. Oh. Hello. You doing awful as always? Alright, what if I... Get Minos to land on you. Nope, that's indirect. If I can like sneak over to there, nope, it's direct.
All I've got to do is get to the end. Oh, why did I not think of it? See, look, this is this is why this is why I struggle so much with uh, portal maps. I just don't think of the obvious things. Like that's why I need you guys. Oh, the tree moved. The tree moved. Okay, so my whole thing about the light and the dark then. I'm going to do that again. Damn. The whole thing about the light and the dark then wasn't the case. I thought I had to like stay in the shadows, but no. So then I don't really understand why. A little bit weird as to why. I can like walk down this right hand side where those like things are. Oh, no, 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 no. Of course. All right, now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. I didn't have to hit it that many times. It moved because I hit it from this side. Ugh. Yeah, there we go. All right, so if I. I don't know about changing the time, actually. See me from there? Huh. Right, I don't think there's much point then in moving him back then, is there? I love the second part of this section. How come? Oh, no spoilers. All right, I'm going to try it just because uh, I just want to see if I go in here. Is that dude still moved? Yes, he is. Excellent. in the look of this thing. Ah. Uh... Alright, well we don't have to move the tree again. That's, that's something. I mean, I'm th I was thinking... I was thinking if I could move that tree across to there, maybe I could get them to play each other. For lack of a better term. Okay. Okay. We're now in the 3D section. 
Wasn't expecting that. Okay, so how do we get past this guy? I didn't go through the gold square because I didn't think I needed, I didn't realize that I would get like this time. Right, so I'm thinking, can Mina slight like, squash this guy? No. So maybe I've got an idea. If this guy is asleep, maybe now I can move him across to here. And this is what I was thinking before. Maybe if I can like block them like that. Maybe they'll play themselves. Or even better still, yeah, he blocks that. So then I want to go back to the other time, don't I? That's right. Thanks for the hydrate, hy uh, Doctress. So that's now blocking that. They're both blocking each other. Oh. Okay. But we can't proceed from here. So the only thing we can do is change our time timer again. block that passage off there. Teleporter? I did notice there's another blue pad behind. Right, so Fina can... Not Fina, Velvet can do that, but I don't think it's going to be worth it at the minute. Because... Literally, we get onto here and we're dead, so going over there isn't the right thing to do at the moment. And there's another guy there who's going to insta wreck us, so okay, what can we do different? I wonder if we can get Minos to land on this target here, perhaps? Will that do anything for us? No. What if he lands on top of this red machine? Okay.
No! Although, it's a different timeline. That's a big tomato. That's a real big tomato. chest. That's something. Alright, that's not the right way, clearly. I need to go that way. Slightly. Okay. Do we have to time this? As in, we have to change the time when that thing's in like a certain position. I'm not so sure though, because I think it's in exactly the same spot here, isn't it? All right, so. How are we going to move these things here? Can I worry about it? It's all good. Alright, so there must be something I can do. There must be something I can do differently with. With the other time. No worries, Maker. No worries.
I just feel like like the freezing thing is something I do, but it always, always seems to like go back to this position. Yeah, actually, that's what I thought, Deathwish. But it just seems to be like locked into that position whenever you change the time. So. In this one or the other time when I'm like the uh, even like the, the like the proper 2D time, not the fake 3D time. I see what you mean now. I see what you mean. Clever. Oh. I think he's ours. I'll oh, don't send me back here. I need to uh, change here. Quite weird, Mika, to be fair. So, obviously, in this time frame, we can't move. We can't move any of the bits and pieces, right? So, I think what we've got to do here is we've got to wait. We've got to we're going to the other one, and then we've got to wait. Oh, really? Well, at least we're saved here now. gonna wait for this guy to go around like that but we need to we need to go across there. How can we How can we block that off there?
Oh, hold on. Can I now use Minos from over here? Then swap the time back. Then go over the red mushroom. Then... Not that I know if it, um... Alright, Dr. Snowers. Alright, so then I have to... Yes, yeah, so then I have to go back. And I have to time the run properly here. Cool, cool. Come and disturb me, who does? Oh dear, it's Yoda. <laughs> Watch out, Kiro. He seems pretty tough. You can count on me, Kiro. I'm going to use my full strength in this battle. Wait! This is most certainly the Forest Guardian. I can't believe I almost turned him into wood chips. We are sincerely sorry, Mr. Guardian, sir. I am not certainly certain he understands us. He seems in rather poor health. Let's try using the size tier. Did it work? From the Sadista's evil influence healed me, you have. My thanks you have, younglings. I'm glad to see you're doing better, Forest Guardian. The Guardians we ran into before were slightly more aggressive. Reward you I must, yes! Sadly, very little do I possess. The Oracle told us that the Magi had entrusted you with a fragment of the Magic Key. Indeed, this fragment I have. And give it over to you, I will. Good care you will take, hmm? Dangerous this fragment is. We'll do our utmost to remember the vulnerable Yoda tree. <laughs> Piece number four. And yet sad I am. Now trapped in this sacred grove you are. What? Trapped? But why? Overrun the sacred grove the sadists have. Strangers, escape, they cannot. That's awful. I can't be stuck here. The force I sense in you, younglings. Aid you perhaps it can. It? The force? What force? Find it, perhaps you can. But most surely you, it, will find. What a curious way he has of speaking. We have to find it, Kuro, whatever it is. I'm not in love with this, tr the idea. Sorry, I was going to say not in love with the tree. I'm not in love with the idea of being stuck here my whole life. But what force is it he, is he talking about? The sadist, sadistas overrun the sacred grove they have. Sad it is, mmm. But fight them I cannot. Alright. A load of crap can do a good, good impression. Not here he is. Alright, so we have to freeze it. Why are we going to freeze this though? I 
guess we can freeze it. A little bit too far. I just sat down when I came to my apartment from mother's house. I do like to live on my own, but the location in which I live is not good for one to live. I cannot say that this is my kind of home. I, I think when you sort of like live in sort of places like that, though, Mika, it's more. I, I wouldn't consider that a home more just like a a house. There's a difference between a house and a home. Um, obviously, that seems more of like a. Oh, it's Navi, oh dear. The, your apartment's obviously more of just like a stopgap place for you to like, uh, to be while you're sort of like doing your studies and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, those sorts of places I don't think you can necessarily consider like proper homes. What'd you wake me up for? Man, I only slept about but 12 years. Let me have some peace and quiet. What you doing here, huh? And who exactly are you anyway? What? You came to look for, for the magic, me thingamajig? And now you're stuck in the grove? Ha ha ha. Jeez, what a dumbo. Shouldn't come here. Shouldn't have come here, you. What? You don't know how to destroy the sadistas? Oh, come on. A little baby could do that. All you gotta do is ask a, tr a trunkodile to burn them out. A trunkodile? What the hell's a trunkodile? Well, I know it's cliche, Deathwish, but yeah. You don't know how to talk to a forest beastie? Heh. <laughs> I just possess you human folk. You can't do much, can you? I suppose, sorry. But you do have strength. Those lazy old trunkodiles never lift a claw. But you you went and budged them. I saw you. So here's the plan, Stan. I hope you, you chit-chat with them trunkodiles. And you helped me burn them out, them sadistas. I mean, you did help out the geezer, so I guess you can do the same. F so I can do the same for you. How about it? Sure. Oh, hey, I've got to introduce myself. <laughs> it's not Navi, it's Nawi. <laughs> and don't you go complain about my love for small talk. I wonder how we uh, open those. Uh so the the trunky gators are these um, big tree things here. Hey! Ah! Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Hey, listen, I'm in another time, yeah? Come and join me if you want much help. If you want my help. Alright, so we can't use this thing in this timeline then. Yeah, no, I've I've checked out that in a couple of things, Deathwish, and um It doesn't look like the ch the looks like the chest like grayed out in all of the times, so. Also, I've got to try this while I'm here. That's not what I wanted to try out, but... I want to see if I could, like, interact with those um, owl-looking stones, because they reminded me of, like, something from Zelda. Alright, so we're back here. I 
I can't escape that way. Do something else you must. to be out of the 3D world. So I'll use... Oh, I can't... Alright. We did just manage to get there. Alright, Mika, no worries. Happy translating. Okay, so now I need to go into this one. I don't think that's going to cut it, is it? No. Alright, so I need to be in the other time then. That's interesting, that little chest there is available now. That wasn't there before. chest I guess then you I guess the, the chests are like certain timelines and death wish you were correct sir it works it Klingon Oh, never, no. You've never led me astray in your life. So I'm going to have to pop this down. Um. Alright, so can I... I wonder if I can do something different here. timeline I can use this on, okay. Doesn't have like a cooldown or anything. I definitely can't go back.
Can I do anything with this tomato? Yeah. So now I should be able to walk through because the tomato is not there. It's very American, isn't it? Tomato. The tomato is gone. Do this. Which now allows us to walk through in the other timeline through to here. Probably need to move that one as well while I'm here. Makes sense. So now I can walk through with both of them. Puzzles of this one, quite enjoying this. All right, stay here. All right, send the fairy. Yeah, it's it's really cool. I'm, I mean, I'm just more than anything. I'm probably more disappointed that I sat on it for so long and didn't play it sooner. All right, so. I know logic, right? Video game logic 101. So the only other thing I can do then is... Ah, here we go. Alright, that'll take care of that one. I 
Got a bit of backtracking here, which uh, is a bit meh, but let's just stay here, I guess. Oh, I've got to do it from over there, so no, can't just stay here. So the question is now, how do we get rid of that last one? New paths are open. Okay, I gotta go round and I gotta push this from the other side of the bushes then. Yeah, we'll get around the other side and push it through the bushes. But the minute I can't do any of that in the time frames I'm in. from here. We did it, Kiro. We're almost out the Sacred Grove. All we need to do now is return to our own time. We're not quite done yet, Fina. You sound like my son, Mika. So like my son started like his new school. And every day he comes home from his from school and I'm like asking him, have you got homework, have you got homework? And it's been like, no, 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 no. Turns out he's got like a whole geography assignment to do. That he's kind of like neglected. He claims that the, uh, the teacher never told them that they've got this assignment to do, but but every day I'm sort of like telling him, you know, have, have you got, have you done your homework? I'll do it later. 
I'll do it later. And it just keeps going on and on and on and on and on. I'm like, dude. Kind of needs to take responsibility for it. Don't leave it till the last minute. But. You know, what do I know? I'm just his dad. I can't use this, the fairy in this time, can I? Alright, you know what? Let's just... Don't worry about that at the minute. Oh, for sure. I can't believe in this forest. Very folk like me couldn't live in the outside. It's a matter of quantum physics because I can't be in every time and multi multiple spaces at once or some junk. Hey, not bad. You did better than I expected. There's still some of them saddest in the forest, but I'm guessing you guys have other stuff to do. Come back and see me if you like. Bye bye now. Okay, so then it gives me a, uh, a little target count there. All right, so we're done. We're done in the forest for now. We can... Thank you for aiding the Guardian of the Sacred Grove. Your adventure adventures make me want to see the world, but I'm still hesitant. All right, well, if Mario ever stops holding up the key, maybe you can uh, talk to the Elder and... Sort some stuff out. Alright, so I know where the last... Um, I know where the last thing is. We need to go up here. And we need to change the... Time. There's like some mini game here, I think, to play. Impressive, you have the fragment of nature. Sometimes I'd like to remove myself from time like the Scythes did, but I know it would only be an internal prison. And what I need in the, what I what I need it the ultimate freedom. Come and see me if you need more information on the fragments of the magic key. Well, I don't think I do. I still think you're gonna screw us over once we've got all the fragments, but what do I know? I still don't trust her. I think it's this one I want to be in. No, it's the other one. <laughs> if only Atom was here. Alright, so, what is the meaning of this?
You sound surprised, Colonel. Surprised? Coming from you, Magus, it's no surprise. But you! How could you? Honestly, Colonel, come now. Try not to be f try to frighten my lieutenants. I'll soon have need of them. Your lieutenants? They belong to the Empire. <laughs> oh, Atom, I knew. I know you was lurking. I didn't want to say you was there, but I knew you was lurking. Hence the, uh, the hint and the subtle look towards the camera. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? They belong to the Empire. Times change, Colonel. You see, I long served your great Emperor, but no more. Now I shall have my turn on the throne. I've decided to establish my own empire right here. You're a madman. All you have are a few dozen soldiers. In just a few months, the real emperor will be here with his army. You won't stand a chance against him. Do not worry too much for my sake, Colonel. In that time, I will have conquered Demonia and wiped out the last of the demons, and my army will rival that of the emperor. But how? I shan't reveal all my secrets, Colonel. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a continent to conquer. Traitor! Oh, rip him. Rip that guy. I have to stop them. Solid snail. We must act quickly. Demonia has yet to fall, and I can still aid my people. Alright, so... I know you. You fled the Colosseum. What did you go by? Oh, right. Solid snail, wasn't it? What are you doing out here? Ah, I see. Naturally, if you're with a Demonian prince, where else would you go? Let us through. I'm sorry, but there's no no use fighting them. You would need an army to reach Demonia. Even I'm powerless for the time being. There's one possibility. We could team up with the Empire. Never! Make a pact with Demonia? That's ludicrous! But there's no other way. If we don't stop mages, the fighting will only get worse. Tens of thousands will die. That's what I learnt in school, anyway. We have to stop Magus before he makes it to the Demonia. Joining forces is the only way to do that. It is imperative we reach Demonia before time runs out. And if, to that end, I must ally with the Empire, for a short while at least, so be it. Dolkin? It's... not possible. I can't. My orders. We are at war with Demonia. Maybe, but it's Magus who started this war, hoping to seize Demonia and keep it for himself. And knowing that, knowing that, you still want to follow orders? You ought to know to bend the rules when it's for the, for the good of the Empire. I... I can't. Can't go against the orders. Well, Kuro, it seems it won't be easy to persuade Dolkin. In my time period, he's known for having led the army that fought Magus. But the, ba the battle turned into a real bloodbath and thousands died on both sides. That's why he's been dubbed Dalkin the Red. After his victory, if you can call it that, he left the military. He's likely still alive in my time. It makes me wonder where he would be now. We must convince him to allow us passage. I must come to my people's aid. Why won't he accept our help? It's the best option out there. I cannot. Become your ally. I have my orders. Um, Alright, so. I'm pretty sure I know where this guy is. I would only because I've already got the medal. What? You carry an Imperial medal? A sacred emblem of the Emperor's Trust. Which means that... Emperor wishes for me to join forces with you. Well then, 
I have no choice. One must follow orders. Any help I can provide is yours, should you need it. All right, with Dolkin's head, you'll be able to recruit and command an army, prevent the mages from reaching Demonia. All right. Watch out! It's a patrol from Magus's army. We have to strike quickly before they alert the rest of their forces. If your friends judge rightly, Solid Snail, you're, you're an able strategist. But I won't let you lead our future army until I know what you're fully capable of. You take command. Should be a good way to show me what you can do. Attack! Alright. Tactics RPG mode. Alright, so what am I doing here? Uh... Okay. I think I, I get this. Enemy turn. Okay, I never played a tactics RPG before, so this should be pretty interesting. Well, he's dead. That was going to do that sort of attack then. I would have maybe moved somewhere else, but... Alright, so they're down to two. And we just need to tidy up here. first battle. Well done, an astounding victory. Solid Snail, you have what it takes to be a great commander. In fact, you seem to possess many talents. Let's move on and look for a strategic location to set up camp. Can I just set up camp here? There's already one built, so... Outpost. Perfect. This camp probably belongs to the patrol we bumped into. Let's set up here for now. Listen here, Solid Snail. To wage war, you need troops. I can bring some over from the Empire. The more victories we secure, the more soldiers will be inclined to join up with us. Go see if you can muster troops from the command tent. Then join me to secure the area. Alright. Welcome to the command tent. Alright, so obviously that yeah, the shield sort of points that we saw before that we earned in that, then obviously we can spend here and get more troops. So we can only afford to get one at the moment. Which is fine. Excellent, now we have more of an advantage. Let's move forward. It seems our problems have caught up with us. Oh, man. Lord Magus, the Imperial troops have been landed on our shores. Already? Impossible. They're attacking, all right. Must be that wretched Colonel Dolkin. If he thinks he can foil my plans with a few greenhorns, he is sorely mistaken. Indeed, my lord. He's a fool. Only the Colonel himself possesses the risk. Once you dispose of him, his army will collapse like a house of cards. Me? 
Of course you! Why else would I be telling you all this? I thought you merely liked, li liked being listened to, my lord. This is a matter of military tactics, and that is your speciality, is it not? Ergo, you shall lead this operation. Ah, I see. But, uh, can I refuse? Two arms? So that should have been two arms. Things are really heating up. Best not go off half cooked. Let's review everyone's particular skill set. I can heal anyone who's wounded. I'm able to repel many foes in a single blow. I have a freeze power that prevents enemies from countering. I'll provide cover if you stay close to me. And Kiro just doesn't do anything. He just says, shut up. As per usual, the heal hack and slash. You have to admit, that serves him pretty well. Excellent. Forward march! Alright, here we go. Let's just charge some abilities here. Okay. Yeah, I just bought another uh, another guy at him in that uh, command tent right there. So, yeah, we're now up to six. Kuro's got a pretty decent attack on him. Dolkin's just going to sort of protect everybody for now. The archers are a bit annoying though, I'll be honest. Offensive. Take out the archer. And we've got two guys to oh, wow, that guy got wrecked. Well, the Q's only got two left, so... Make that one. Time to look up. 
After that victory, we should be able to build a fortified encampment. That will accommodate our staff. We're not going to stay in this dirty old camp much longer, are we? I could use a little more breathing room. Not to worry, Miss Fina. We shall be moving on to take command of the advancing troops. I've been studying the geography of this island, the Isle of Demonia. Several paths lead to the capital. The southern route is the fastest, but that's where the bulk of the rebels' mobile forces are. The route in the north is longer, but easier to traverse. That's the path the enemy used to transport their siege weapons. It behooves us to choose carefully. Let Kuro decide. He always knows what to do, right? Alright. We'll see when we get there. Let's head out. Okay, so should we take the north path or the south path? How about both paths? Are you crazy? <laughs> well, we've got to do another battle first anyway, so... There's a lot of equipment lying around. Evidently, they retreated in a hurry. Doesn't surprise me, they figured out who's the boss. But to simply leave without taking up arms. I imagine their commanding officer fled. Once that happens, there's no way to keep the troops from abandoning their post. That's great, if you, our presence is enough to scare off the Empire. Senior officers, we just need... Senior officers, we just need to plow through. Sorry, I think that was like the rest of that. I see a command tent over there. Let's use it to recruit more soldiers. I don't need to because I've already recruited more soldiers. So uh, I've got no, uh, got no pennies left. Now! Charge! Oh. Demons? What? I think we know why they left so quickly. This is what scared them off. Should we take off too? I believe that's out of the question for now. But let me speak with them. They are demons, so they are not liked, like to harm us if I can explain the situation. Down with the invaders! Calm yourselves. Pray. Lay down your arms. Tis I, Minas, son of King Arthas. I have come to liberate Demonia. Venus? The one who betrayed his own father by bringing in humans? The one who allies himself with the Colonel of the Empire? Death to the traitors! Alright, before we go into this then, it's guess the airboat time with Deathwish. So, um, let's, uh, let's have a proper think about this. Let's, let's give it some thought. Um... Right, let, let me let me do some mathematical calculations here. This is, this, this is very serious. It's very very technical. Almost got an answer. Almost gone. Give me, give, give me a sec. Almost gone. All right. My answer is going to be. 
38,294. That's what I'm going for. It won't be easy to persuade them, Minas. But I do not wish to fight them. We have no choice! It's either them or us! Forgive me, dear compatriots. But I have to. I have a mission to fulfill. All right. I have a feeling that probably everybody's uh, everybody's guessed Deathwish. Oh wow! I didn't think you'd uh, got as many as a thousand points since the last count, but. Uh Okay, fair play. Fair play. Noted. Okay, let's do all these at the top first. Okay, then. Dolkin will protect. Vina will charge. Dolkin to protect is definitely like the way here. No, 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 I didn't fix it. I fixed the number on the um, on the bot, but not. I, I can't do anything on the um, actual proper Twitch air boats. <coughs> Excuse me. guys now we need to start work on these I think Mika's like rocking somewhere around 80, 90,000. I think.
Athena with the counterattacks. It's helping. Alright, so next we're going to bring Dolkin over here. No! Minos is out. Good job, the fight's almost over. Slightly out from the um, being able to hit them both, though, it's a shame. But we've uh, just wrapped this up now. Diamond plated air broad. War is truly a woeful thing. Here we are forced to clash with those we sought to protect. I'm deeply sorry, Minus, and I know how you feel. Don't give up hope, Minus. We're going to stop mages and save your people. At any rate, we now face two enemies. We'll have to exercise even more caution. I hope to save more of my kind than we will have killed. All this is futile otherwise. Alright, let's go and uh, grab some new recruits or something from the tent. Just grab a couple of recruits for now. Onwards we go. All right, so we're at like the decision time. We can go north or south. So the south route was quicker, but it was um, more dangerous. I think they said right. So uh, yeah, north or south, guys. I'll leave the decision up to you. Shall we go to the north or the south? You decide in the chat. Death which wants to go north. One for north. That's technically two for north and one for south, then. It looks like we're gonna go north. North looks like it's gonna win the vote. Can I not just, like, fly past everything? No, I guess not. Oh, it's a tie. It's a tie. All right, there's only one way. There's only one way to. Uh, there's only one way to pull uh, a tie. All right, well, that's Siri. Hey, Siri. Um, so, one is north, two is south. Hey, Siri. Pick a random number between one and two. 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 Two is the random number. So that was south, right? <sighs> we're gonna go the. Uh, so we're gonna go the harder route. Lieutenant, face me when I speak to you, S sir. 
You must defend that bridge at any cost. What bridge, sir? What do you mean, what bridge? The one right behind you, of course. Hey, Siri. Pick a number between one and two. Two is one. Two? It was a one, Deathwish. It was a, a one. <laughs> oh, that bridge. I knew that. Yes, quite. And thus, you need to defend it. From who, my lord? Well, from anyone who tries to take it. Take the bridge, sir? Where would they take it? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I see. Let's make this quite simple. Do not take your eyes off that bridge! If anyone comes near, shoot first and ask questions later. Got that? I was pretty clear this time, I think. Crystal clear, my lord. Okay, shoot after. What questions? I'm pretty sure I should shoot first. The enemy seems quite prepared to defend that bridge. I wonder if a frontal assault is the wisest tactic. We could always use deception. And what might that be? It's a... Uh, well, it's a way to win without fighting. We demons would call that cowardice. Depends on your point of view, I suppose. There's no harm in thinking it through before changing, charging into battle. Kuro, consider recruiting more troops to bolster our forces. We'll need all the help we can get. I would love to, but we're, we're a squiskin. Kuro, are you sure you want to launch a frontal assault? Uh, sure. I don't know if you're being brave or foolish, but the choice is yours. Let's give it a go. We may be outnumbered, but who cares? They've got a lot of archers here, that's the only problem. Falcon's gonna take a hammer. But, you know, once he's used up all their archers, they can't really attack me again at this point, so. Okay. A big hit there on the ice from um, Velvet, so it really helps us out there. The only thing we like Dolkin to protect is that he doesn't he doesn't counterattack. We miss out on any opportunities there to, to do any counters.
Alright, Dolkin. Protect again. Yay, we got rid of the lieutenant. Excellent. Okay. We're over the bridge. Australia yet it pro has proven fruitful. Personally, I found it exhausting. I'd say the outcome is what matters above all. Now that the enemy feels secure, we have the element of surprise. Let's move! Okay. So, we can't go back then. We're not allowed to go back. Which is interesting. We've got two more battles here, it looks like, and then we're actually going to reach the uh, castle. Cable's dodgy in my uh, controller. Ambush. Uh oh. That sounds good. Lieutenant! We have lost the bridge on the River Kauai. We must retake it in order to maintain our supply lines. Thus, I'm granting you this elite battalion. Now march on and do not halt. No halting. On the march! Ugh, got a weird pain in my belly. Ouch, my poor stomach. Can't hold it in much longer. Men, do not move. I've got a... An important mission, yes. Q, uh, Q noises. The enemy moves moved into that narrow pass. We can use the environment to our advantage. We should be able to attack the battalion from one of three fronts. 
I don't think I'm that much longer, Inca. This is what we're working towards now is like the final of the five key pieces. So once we've done this section, I guess we're going to get the final part. And then I guess we're going to be moving on to Endgame after that. Son of a biscuit. All right, so we've got to pick one of the, uh... So we've got to pick, like, one of the clearings to, um, attack from. I'm going to try this one. to uh, attack there, I think. <laughs> That's some real end game right there. Oh, yikes. The recruits aren't going to last too long, are they? It's got some more archers. Damn. <laughs> it's always space bar, man. Space bar is brutal. Charge him up again. Oh, he's outside Dolkin's thing, though. Mm, that wasn't too clever. Alright, see what he's going to do this time. Minos and Fina are in awkward positions, unfortunately.
Excellent. on that. Okay. So we've got some recruits and we've got some of these like more uh, like lieutenant -y kind of guys to get rid of. Dust. Oh, he can't attack. Oh, I didn't select protect. Um. balls things up here massively. Yeah, the um, some of the special attacks are brutal. Alright, so they've got three left. Alright, luckily that guy didn't go in for an attack on Minus, so... Guy's dead. Dolkin, okay. All right, time to hopefully finish up then. Everything up for it personally, but it's good. Kira will just finish off here. You chose well. Let's continue rallying troops. So if we wanted to, we could then go and do those other two over there. But let's just head for the castle. Wizards! Lieutenant! Things grow worse by the minute. Our enemies are dangerously close to Demonia. We must orchestrate their defeat once and for all. Count on me, my lord. I'm the most trustworthy officer in this army. And I shall defend these lands with valour. That's quite reassuring, Lieutenant. Nevertheless, I would rather stack the odds in our favour. But that's not necessarily, my lord. I have never lost a battle. I mean, just because it's my first. 
I do not doubt your abilities, Lieutenant. All the same, I'd be comfortable. I'd be comforted if some of my disciples were to join you. Our victory shall be ironclad. You'd insult my honour by offering me a few bathroom bathrobe wearing soldiers. They are powerful, well trained pyromancers, and battle ready at that. Unacceptable! How would I look next to them? Oh well, Lieutenant's gone. I've never played Risk, to be honest. Lieutenant! Lieutenant! Come back here this instant! I know these wizards, Kuro. They're extremely powerful. We ought to be wary. Their spells have considerable range. I'd advise we avoid staying too close to each other. There's the main enemy camp. Kuro, are you sure our army's strong enough? Perhaps it would be wise to recruit more soldiers before launching an assault. It's your call. I don't think we need to learn... I don't think we need more soldiers. I can't get the... Okay, so... I've, obviously I've made the mistake of not upgrading... So because I've not got like any of the middle ones, I can't then get the more advanced ones there. But that's fine. I think the archers are going to like be the better, the best sort of plan here. Because they can long range attack. Hmm, they've got catapults as well. Let's get our party up here and we'll get them charging their special attacks. Yikes, they hit hard. That's not good. flag if it's a case that we're massively like underpowered then we might have to go and fight the other battles which would be a bit rubbish but
Yeah. Literally, like, down to five. Not good. I'm sure those um, wizards are going to start hitting in a minute as well, aren't they? Okay. Well, Sakuro and Velvet here are in trouble. Instantly over if Kuro dies, and that's uh, it looks like we can chip away and we can gain the points so Catapults, which are going to be the problem here. I instantly kill the archers. Play backgammon to be honest. Alright, so what? Let's 
move Kuro first. So he can go there. Now... I don't know what to do here. I might just like retreat a bit to charge up. So if I bring Dolkin back to here and protect, bring these guys back to charge. The special abilities are different, like what's going to save us, I think, here. So, take this guy. Might be in trouble. All right. Okay. So let's regroup. Okay, now. They only have 20 health, so that's good. Can I... Okay, cancel that. You go here. And... Okay. 
Okay, uh, Fina might be in trouble here. Actually, Fina's got a lot of health. Okay. Couple's gone. Okay, the wizard's gone. All right, Tolkien's dead. Okay. Um, move here and charge again. Move there, wait. Mm, push Fina over there and charge. Maybe could have hit the catapult if I'd have used Fina's attack. How much do they have? They have 10 health, right? She should hit for 31. But we'll just do that. No, get rid of that. Okay, we're down to two. <sighs> Meanness, though, is like... Health is atrocious. Alright. Just got to ride this out a little bit. So I can use Fina here. To heal up the party. Catapults are just going to like do that backwards and forwards. I think it's a little bit annoying that like, she can't heal herself. Don't kill Kiro. Oh, you've lined yourself up beautifully. We win. Yes! These wizards are a force to be reckoned with. We must eliminate Magus and his disciples. We've almost reached Demonia Castle. Soon this war will be a thing of the past. Or perhaps that's already the case. Not command ten. Lieutenant, you are the might of our army. You strike fear in the hearts of our foes. Your power and cruelty have earned you the dreaded Monkia. Monica, sorry. Monica. Monarchy? Monarchy? 
The Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Uh, okay. Mm, no, that's not good. Yeah, doesn't work anymore. What do you mean, no good? We, uh, well, we lost the horses. Have they died? No, no, we've actually lost them. And I mean, really lost. One minute they're there, and then nowhere to be found. Maybe we put them someplace else. So now we should actually be called the Four Infantrymen of the Apocalypse. It doesn't have the same bone chilling ring to it. My lord, everything's all right. Brace yourselves. To ensure our victory, I shall unleash the forces of darkness itself. Sounds great, my lord. What have I done to deserve this? Finally, we come to Demonia Castle. It has been better days. I pray there are survivors. Let's make haste. Thank you for being as agile and steadfast as you were in this war. I hardly ever, I could, I hardly could have led the troops with so much mis mastery. Truly, thank you. Alrighty then. Uh. What we're saying. That's what we'll do. All right. Here we go. So what do we got? We got a couple of mages, wizards there. We got some catapults, and then the lieutenants. One, two catapults. Okay. Kiss it, Fritz Bipok. I summon infernal flames. Oh dear. That can't be good. None of these like good dudes attack, jeez. direct man okay Thank you. 
Okay. It's gonna get in trouble here. A wizard's gonna get her. I don't like that there's so many freaking lieutenants this time around. It's not not liking that at all. Yikes. Dead. Yeah, it's not going well, is it? Let's be honest. Need to bring Fina over to like where Dolkin is to like start healing Dolkin. But not having Minus now is um, frustrating. So I've only got now the one one character who can do the charge attacks, so... It's alright at the minute. Ah, oh, didn't kill him. Didn't kill him.
the why he decided to uh, go, if I'm honest. Alright, let's see what this does. Not a lot. think that wasn't what I wanted to do if I'm honest Why does she only hit for like six? Like seriously. What? His target wasn't there. Man, I call BS. I'm not going to do any of that. I want to save the. I want to save bits and pieces if I can. I think I possibly need to like try and push up further. There's a single player campaign on Portal 2? Really? Man. I thought it was just like a community maps game. Jeez. Mind blown. I'll have to check that out sometime.
All right, mate, no worries. Thanks for hanging, buddy. Appreciate it as always. Have a good evening, and I'll catch you next time, hopefully, buddy. Take care. You know what, I was just thinking, I hope, like, their own kind of, um, I was hoping that their own person would get kind of, like, wrecked there. And they did. Careful of where he's gonna place this. I hate them freaking wizards so much. there. If I put it there, he's going to get caught in the blast radius of the next attack from the uh, the guy. I kind of wanted to catch that guy, the archer there with this attack, but I guess I can't. Protect with Dolkin. Jeez, that's a mistake. Go rid of the wizard. Oh, 
Alright. Okay. She's in trouble now. Catapult's gonna wreck her. Oh, she's still alive, barely. Okay, couple's gone. Still got to wait a little bit of time here for Minus to get in range. Okay. So what we got? We've got some lieutenants, an archer, and then the main guy. Tenants deal with here. He's just going to get absolutely slaughtered here. Pretty obvious. Risky. Risky for Minus. Got rid of two of them. All right. Ah, oh, Velvet's dead. Damn. Should have charged for another turn.
Yeah, I'm in trouble now. We're in trouble! Dolkin's not going to protect against mages here. And we're both dead. Man! Uh, that was a lot closer than it was the first time. For sure. But, um... Yeah. Alright guys, well... That means tomorrow we will be back and we will continue on with this battle tomorrow um uh, we're gonna call the stream there for now um we're very close though in the fifth final battle we just need to work on some improved tactics and try and keep the crew together i guess um but obviously we've got some more points now to spend so we can reinforce our army and get a few more um of the um guys here with us and uh, fingers crossed tomorrow we'll be able to smash this one out of the park. But thanks everybody for tuning in guys. Really appreciate your support. Same time tomorrow where we're going to continue on. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll be able to actually finish off Evo Land 2 tomorrow night. So uh, again there guys, thank you very much for hanging. Have a great rest of the day wherever you are. And until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Take care, stay safe and happy gaming. Bye guys. Thanks a lot.